Hello, one man truly. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing the 1.6 Catholic uh, Mexico Ironclad update. And also the uh, Man the Guns DLC. So, we've just taken over America. Uh, we've managed to get Canada to capitulate, although they mostly gave into the German Reich, which is annoying. And it looks like the United Kingdom's getting invaded. If they will crack, that might be it. What are they on right now? Only service by requirement. Got a lot of units as well. The Germans managed to get hold of a port, but it's an island. If they could actually get rid of an actual like port of Glasgow, they'd have done better. But no, they got kicked straight out. Well, in the meantime. We're just going to train and uh, practice and sit here for a bit. I don't know what state the Navy's in. Do we get any intelligence on the Navy? No, not really. I'm going to decline those offers. I mean, I can always invite you in later. Right, rubber. Please send. If only we could, like, invade Ireland or something. Are you at war with me? Yeah, I think you are at war with me. We could try and invade Denmark again. This is all naval invasions and our fleet got decimated. I don't think any of that's going to be particularly likely. I think this is going to be the calm. The calm before more storm. My right, tank workshop. Right. For now, I'll just build more anti tank. And more anti tank. Oh, God. So much anti tank. So much anti tank. Oh, no. What am I going to do? That's a lot of anti tank. Get a military factory. Yay. You know what? Let's do this. Redeem Aslan. Because it will become a core, which means that we should either get it straight away, or in the peace deal it will basically be really easy for us to take. Rather than having to fight everyone for it. Hello, Soviet Union just took over that. Got no details on it, which is a shame, but... Oh, France is fighting back! Interesting. How's Germany doing? Ah, similarly to the UK. Okay. Less troops, though. Oh, wow, we've got a lot of convoys. Hmm. 
I'm going to tell all of you to press as well. We've got the new carrier hull. We've got improved infantry equipment. Um, working on that for armor. Working on that. Engineering. We'll start working on rockets so that we can get our jet engine. And we'll start working on mechanized as well. I guess we'll get the terrible tank. At least it'll speed things up slightly. See, if we could have taken this, we could then use a staging ground to attack the Soviet Union, even though this is not my favorite angle to attack the Soviet Union from. A lot of slogging through Siberia. We could have done it. Instead, we're going to have to wait for uh, basically Germany to deal with the uh, UK. I'm not attacking it. Not a chance, mate. We've got our forces to rebuild. Okay, next tank. Nice research bonus going on there. We could start producing the heavy tank, but there's very little point. We wouldn't get that many out, and then we'd have to upgrade everyone to the modern tank. Which is a shame. There's one messy fight going on. Try and extend our range a bit. Oh, what did we grab there? Oh, good. Okay, we'll get uh, dispersed fighting. Uh, still some training up going on. You're trained up. You're trained up. You're trained up. And you are still training. You're trained up. You're trained up. And you are surprisingly trained up. Right, well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All we'll do is we'll chuck you in here. One, two, three, and then we'll take you out. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so we'll take these out because uh, a lot of them aren't trained or at least they got damaged and they're no longer counted as trained. It's the easiest way of just getting these people up to speed ASAP. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. 
move you in here. Ah, uh, here. Yes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In which case, we've still got two over here to do. But it does mean you can stop practicing. You're learning. Uh, yeah, you got in the wrong unit by mistake there. Uh, you need to go in the training division. This is no longer the training division, though. Um... You know what? It should be the training division. Move you in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's an army worth. Only thirteen of you left. Hmm. So far, so good. Integrate Belize. Uh, I think we will also will attend a public mass. Women in the workforce. Recruit population 5%. Yes! Get those women in the workforce. Having the full might of the American industry behind us is its kind of amazing. Recruit another don't enough people for that. Okay, we just go for another twenty four of you. The idea being that you can then guard uh, the United States. Experimental rockets, rocket engine. Really? You're going to try and bomb my east coast? Okay. Here's 600 fighters. Synthetic oil experiments. rubber processing and then we'll want to build many I don't think we're going to get rubber anytime soon uh, 
I don't mind them being a little lower on the priority list at the moment. We're being able to import it pretty easily. I'll attend another public mass. We're almost a modern tank. Oh, hello. If you could actually invade and hit a port, that'd be great, Germany. Now, nah, every time you get wiped out so quick. At least Britain's fuel supply must be skyrocketing down. They have nowhere to get fuel for them, really. I don't think anyone's trading with them. Everyone hates them. They're going down the garden to eat worms. Oh, are you all ready? Yes, you are. Done. You will need to go and get trained. Right, mechanized equipment. I'm so tempted to get the Amphibious. But for now, we'll stick with Mechanized. We'll probably make ourselves, like after this, we'll probably make ourselves like two dedicated, full-on armies in intended for like Amphibious Assault. Well, I'm surprised none of us have really picked up that trait yet. It's a bit weird. gonna go get you trained immediately. Right, how are we doing with production of destroyers? Good. Got a whole lot of nice submarines over here. Send our 37 subs over to try and cut off ties of Unike a little bit more. I don't know who's supplying them, but it's not going to last very long. I should also probably give you a closer port. Philadelphia seems a good one. to assign you to that. Can I assign you to that? I guess, are you even assigned anymore? Hmm. Okay, maybe they aren't efficient enough. 77% is fine. For now. There we go. Things are getting interesting already. Redeem Aslan. We lose a lot of political power there. 
uh, integrate the Caribbean. It wouldn't matter if we do that because we don't really have anything to spend on it. So I'm just going to hold off at the moment and not pick one just so we can get our political power back up quickly. Free dockyards on the other hand. I can't pass that up. Uh, convert Battleship Hull, Carrier Hull. No, no, no. I think we'll just go for some more big ship hulls for now. Yeah. yeah. The odd Soviet one now and again, but nothing else beyond that. Aha! Hello there, Soviets. Twenty-nine, thirty. It was probably a Soviet naval invasion, judging by the size or something like that. They're probably going to take the United Kingdom and end the war, and I stopped them. Ah. Actually, it's a Soviet Union. It could have easily been just a normal uh, freight convoy and stuff. I'm going to base some fighters in our capital, just in case someone tries to nuke on us. And then we're going to find somewhere we can do some practices. Yeah, Honduras. Rubber processing, lovely, and we'll keep pushing it up to get more rubber from it. Oh, there's only 15 there. There you go. manpower I've got now. Beautiful. I'm enjoying having our manpower now. We're just stacking all the bonuses from fascism, etc. on top. Really good. We're 
We're shot on artillery. Huh. Gonna chuck down some fuel storage as well. Rocket engine, and that gives us jet engine. Yet another invasion, but it's not actually going to make it to the naval base. Well, they're trying. No. UK's got the naval bases locked down way too well. What you need to do is you need to maybe take uh, Northern Ireland, use it as a staging post, attack, say, Royseith. You invade Lothian, you should be okay. Or at least it's probably the least defended option, typically. <sighs> In the meantime... We'll grab Integrate the Caribbean. Docking rights of Italy. Thank you. Oh, you'll accept lend leases. Cool. And they cancel that lease. Mechanized, mechanized three. At least now we can switch over to using uh, some actual mechanized. that a little bit. You know what? I'll set you as heavy tank, but you're damaged, so you won't need to produce anything. That's fine. Modern tank. Japan, will you give me basing rights? You've got strategic reasons to be hostile to me, and thus you won't accept my docking rights, but... You'll give me docking rights, that's weird. Okay. That does now mean we can also put submarines over there, which is what my plan is. We've got a few more. Time. Oh, they did another one. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to get very far. Every time they do this, it must be a good chunk of German troops that are just getting absolutely destroyed. That's just like a blender. They just keep chucking them in. Right. 
Right, what's the sea like nearby? Doesn't look like there's any opposition. Right, your mine, mine layers. Um, where are my other mine layers? Did we tell them to port up here? Yeah, we did. Bring them down to here. And I think we'll change you to being our D44 ones. Why are producing submarines here? Mm, okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, did we actually get a battleship out? Oh, we did. We got a battleship out. Oh yeah, right. That's that's gonna make me happy. Um, who's our main admiral? Let's find out what's going on because he. The fleet's kind of got split up a bit. Okay. Group you together. And we can try and do training. It's a bit of a risk. Improved rubber processing. Right, well, we'll just upgrade that again. Uh, this submarine needs to come over here. When you've got a few more ships, maybe, but I won't let you go out just yet. Right, how are we doing? Let's limit it to just Navy. Destroyer, two lots of submarines, two of our Type 2s. Destroyer. And then another Type 2. Okay. Good so far. We want to try and get ourselves some cruiser and some carrier tech as well. I think in future when I play the game, uh, I'm gonna probably revert the naval changes. I don't like them. Makes it more realistic, but at the same time... Following realism doesn't necessarily mean that it's realistic, like we could sprint doing a ship and it would be very expensive, but we can't do that anymore just because they want it to follow realism. So I, I'll probably change that back. Hmm, what do we want next? Nail production? Probably nail production. There we go, let's get the dockyard output going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In you go. I don't know why I bothered moving you. And I also didn't move four of you, which is somewhat of a silly move. Uh, 
Right, we want another one of one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, what about you? You needed another infantry. Ah, balls. I selected everyone by mistake. You needed another infantry. And then actually you needed the infantry taken away because you wanted to get some anti-tank in there. One, two, three, four. All right, good so far. Now the rest of this mess. Uh, right. Anti-tank. There we go. Where's more anti-tank? And then more anti-tank. Why have I got one more anti tank than I planned for? Oh, because I put the wrong thing in there by mistake. All right. There. And. We'll reduce you to 16. And there we go. We have two more armies. Now the issue I currently have is we don't have the right number of infantry over here. We are short by 13. So I think what we'll do is we'll train up another 13. We now have a couple more units which can be brought up to help protect. For now. In future, they'll probably have a new job. How do we do over here? Another eight Soviets down. Pretty good. Where them out via attrition? 21. You know what? 21's enough. Ah, no, it's not. We need a commander. 21 is not enough. Ah, solid. We can put you in charge. There are enemy mines here. That's acceptable. Ah, balls. I pulled someone off a, an active fleet. There we go. Right. You. 
I'd like you to mine lay. Along there. And there. Maybe not there, because we've already done there. Yeah, do that. Uh, fighters, air support, naval mission, tactical strategic bombing. Yeah, we'll go fighter initiative, veteran stuff. Cool. Actually, you know what? We'll change out of that. We want to hit up the carriers. Britain holding out is just so annoying. I'm not I'm not sure what the best way to attack them is. I think we're going to have to just try and bulk our fleet and then push at them. But it's going to take a little bit of time to bulk our fleet. That's something we can't really avoid. And you are all trained. Into Great Cuba. Set up our naval invasions. We're going to take Haiti. Oh, sixty two convoys. Damn, there's a lot of hunting to be done around here. I'm going to call you off here. I'm going to tell you to just work here, 100%. And I'll put your automatic split off so the entire fleet doesn't leave. Now, yeah. I need to take these. How do I move you away? Create a new task force. Select you. Select you. I need to. How do I stop you being part of the task force? Make your reserve fleet. Okay, try that. in combat so I can't actually merge you just yet. Yeah, there we go. Two Soviet, two Soviet. So, so far so good.
Why am I producing uh, a lot of submarines there, though? Lucatan, grow, grow, Virginia. I'll change that. To Yucatan, 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 Yucatan. There we go. Right. Transvolcanic belt. Oh, they're on the way. Uh, I think that's all fine. Alright, we've got a jet engine. And... Deploy you. Your job is just effectively America. That's it. However, I realize it is a big job. For now, just guard the ports. And we'll need to train another 48. I'm now and get ourselves a jet fighter. Oh yeah. And modern tanks in 57 days. More Soviet ships. And yeah, by November we should have ourselves some more big battleships. No cruisers still, but our battleships are ridiculously fast, so I don't really mind too much. Rubber processing. Did we ever do those rubber plants I wanted? We're getting to them. Probably accelerate them. And then modern rubber refining. Oh, hello. The UK are taking a lot of pot shots at us with their planes and they're not getting in anywhere. Which reminds me, we're probably going to need to do our naval bombers at some point. Okay. I think that is probably a good place to leave for today. We've, we've done some harassing. We managed to extend our naval range by asking for porting, which is a new thing in 1.6. But really, we're still waiting to try and kill the United Kingdom, and that's going to be complicated. We're not sure what their situation is with their navy. And if you have a look, sometimes when it glitches out and we can see their forces, we have... We can see they've got stacks. Just stacks and stacks and stacks. What we need is to be able to get a position somewhere from which we can then base. And then we can drop nukes on them or whatever. Because we have nukes. We'll need S priority for that though, which is going to be a time consuming endeavor. I don't know where we start. Possibly Scarpa Flow, but we'll have to see. Oh, hello. Canadian subs going down. Ah, uh, Canadian convoys going down.
And more Soviets. Okay. Uh, we'll grab the last carry hull. At which point we'll probably... Um, we might want to, before we get to there, actually start working on... Improved airplane catapult? Or is that only for cruisers? No idea. It's only 50 days, so we can come later. We can do it after modern tank. You know what? We're going to wait until we get modern tank. We'll do that in Nimble in the episode. And... Boop. Modern tank. Improved airplane catapult. Um, yeah, we'll take rubber from you for now. I'd like to give back to National Spain. And we'll also set up production of the tanks because we already have someone producing tanks that we don't really care about. Hi. Modern tank. Modern tank. Reduce the strategic bombers. And yeah, now we're working on those, which is great. And we have spare military factories. I guess we'll build more modern tanks on the basis of we'll probably end up uh, changing them to self-propelled guns or whatever later. And we'll want even more. Whoa, not heavy tanks. Wrong one. In fact, we could change some of this over to the five times scale. Yeah. Get rid of you. Five times scale. 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 Do you see down to just one? Five times scale. Five times scale. Five times scale. Five times scale. Yeah, this will clean it up a lot more. We'll definitely want three different types of tank being built because we do need to change them over so that we've got normal, self-propelled, and anti-tank. Uh, we could probably increase that. Increase that and get rid of this bottom mechanized. Yeah, there we go. Right, seems good. Also, ooh. A lot of people waiting for repair. I think we'll up our repair to four. Okay. And we'll end it here for today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, like, you know, subscribe, please consider subscribing. We're in a good position. It's just going to be tough to crack United Kingdom. A few nukes will help, but to do that, we're going to need to try and find somewhere we can base from that also has planes. Um, so I'm thinking if we take Belfast because they can't get reinforcements to Belfast if we control the sea. So we control the sea if the, you know, Royal Navy's not around. If they are, we're screwed. Um, and then we go from there. Build a load of airports, build a load of uh, bases and stuff, and then we can invade. But we'll have to see how it goes. Alternatively, we can always just go sod it. Let's attack Ireland. If that's too heavily defended, we'll attack Ireland and sort it that way. But until next time, like, subscribe, and of course, stay shiny.